Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at CES, and I'm here at HTC's uh, suite speaking with uh, Shen. And uh, Shen, uh, you're holding uh, you know HTC's latest uh, Vive headset. Can you tell us what makes it different and, and new this time around? So um, this is our new headset, but we also have new controllers and also our new base stations. Let's start off with the headset. So now we have um, a, a much more compact design and a more ergonomic strap for your head. So this will feel more comfortable. Uh, our gasket will allow you to fit your glasses even, um, even more comfortable. But also, with, on the tracking side, these trackers are now much more accurate. Um, and along with our new base stations, which are more, much more silent um, and provide ev an even better tracking experience. It's, um, yeah, it just provides a much greater tra uh, tracking experience. So now we also have the front-facing camera, uh, and which will allow you to have a peek into the real world, uh, especially when you get too close to the edge, or um, <laughs> you can actually activate it your, um, manually by double tapping the system button. Um, and yeah, you get a rough outline of the um, of your front surroundings in real time. Okay, and then also, uh, can you speak a, a little bit more about the camera? You know, I just tried a 15-minute demo with it, and it's a it's a it's a different type of camera. I would almost describe it as like uh, sonar almost, because it's like uh, everybody you look at is sort of has like a blue outline to it. Uh, can it act as like a traditional camera, or is it? Oh, so it is an actual traditional camera. Okay. Uh, there is a way to activate it, so you can actually see um, the actual camera. Hang on, one sec. Um, would you like me to stare at the camera or you? Oh, it's what uh, the camera is fine. Whatever you feel yeah, is natural. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. So, um, oh, what was it? Camera. Yeah, right. the camera. So, so it's actually just a normal camera sensor uh, with a very special lens, which is calibrated. So um, you, it's at like a one-to-one -one perspective, mm -hmm. um, and all you, uh, what it does, it's it uh, projects it onto your soft, uh, onto your hard boundaries around the room. So it gives you kind of depth, but it's not actual depth because it's just a single camera. But your brain is tricked into thinking, yeah, that's that depth. Okay, and then uh, for the room configuration, it was interesting because um, you, you guys still have the. Uh, the guidance system thing, the chaperone system, yep. right? And uh, is that is that use the camera at all, or is that uh, just uh... so um, in the current uh, status? Uh, so actually, so in the first kit, you only just had the grid lines, right? right. So that will uh, that kept you safe. But what we've done now is that not only do you get the grid lines, but um, the input from the camera slowly fades in, <coughs> so you get a rough outline. Um, and what that actually provides you is that when people set up their room and the hard boundaries are around tables or something, um, it will give you, it will let you know which spaces you can actually extend outside the uh, hard boundaries without hitting anything. And it tracks the uh, the controllers, right, not just the headset, so that way you can stick out of your arm. And... So the cameras don't, the camera doesn't do any tracking. Uh, okay. The camera is just um, just goes, um, just gets processed and um, shows up part, as part of your, um, of your chaperone. Okay, and the, can you talk about the new controllers? I see that there's a new button on there. I believe that, uh, that enables you to see your surroundings a little bit better. Right? So, um, these controllers are, the input is actually almost exactly the same as before. The only difference is that the two buttons at the bottom, has one has been moved to the top. Okay. So this used to be the small black button. This is the system button. Okay. Uh, the biggest change um, is that now these are dual face, uh, dual phase uh, trigger buttons. Okay. So it will know when you're halfway pressed down and when you're fully pressed down, and it gives you a bit more interaction um, uh, possibilities. Right, right. So you and can like you know yeah. lightly tap it and then press all the way down to exactly. grip harder or something like that. Exactly. Okay. And. Um, and you guys are working with uh, with Valve on this, right? So yep. it's going to have uh, a big, a large uh, Steam integration when it launches. Well, this entire thing is uh, powered by OpenVR, and okay. uh, one of the ways that we do it, right? Um, one of the things that we use right now is Steam VR, which is um, OpenVR with Steam integration right now. Okay. Can you talk about the the resolution and the, the optics at all? Yes. So um, so for this headset, we've actually um, refined the panels and also the 
uh, the optics. So now um, it will feel sharper and also it will feel brighter. So the panels are still 1080 by 1200 pixels per uh, per eye, mm -hmm. and still running at 90 frames per second. Okay, All right. And then the, uh, are you guys doing anything with the optics to to help with that? Because I noticed that, that for a 1080 screen, it's actually you know pretty sharp. Yeah. <clears throat> so are you guys doing any any work to get it? We're to always push we're always refining every part of the hardware. Okay. And this is the this is you know obviously you're the second generation. Uh, is the consumer version going to be like this? Are you guys going to have integrated speakers or integrated headset, the audio, or is it going to be people going to bring their own? So we ha we will have an integrated audio solution, but um, we haven't really talked too much about that yet. Uh, we will reveal more details about it. Um, the The consumer edition uh, will still have a few changes. So this is this is still just the Vive Pre. Okay. For the for the audio, is it going to be closed ear or open ear? Have you guys? So yeah, um, we will re uh, we will talk about that closer <laughs> to launch. Okay. And the, speaking of launch, do you guys have a rough uh, you know timeline of when that might be? So uh, pre-orders begin in February. Okay. And then we will be shipping in uh, April. Oh, okay, gotcha. And do you guys have a release uh, price price uh, set? Uh, no, not not yet. But we will announce it uh, closer to. Uh, okay. Have you guys also released uh, uh, recommended specs for like the PC? Uh, no, we haven't released recommended specs. Um, but um, hell, wait, sorry, I had that wrong. Um, so we haven't announced minimum specs. Okay. But um, our recommended specs for like a good VR experience are something like a, uh, a GTX 970 and above. But you can also use um, AMD cards as well. Okay. So it's not just Nvidia. Got it. Cool. All right. Thank you, Shane.